Hey guys, I'm Nathan, and today I'll be talking about packages and access modifiers. So in this video, we'll be covering what are packages? How do we define and import packages? What are access modifiers? What is the difference between private and default modifiers? Defining and accessing private modifiers. And finally, defining and accessing default modifiers. So first, we'll be talking about packages. So what are packages? A package in Java is used to group related classes, sub-packages, and interfaces. Packages can be used to prevent naming conflicts. Two classes with the same name can be in two different packages. Locate uses of classes, interfaces, enumerations, and annotations easier. There are two types of packages in Java, built-in packages and user-defined packages. So, how do we define user-generated packages? In order to define user-generated packages, we first need to know what we want to accomplish. We then need to make classes inside of a package program to define the package. So this here is an example that you can pause the video to review. Many classes can be added to a package and more than one package can be made with the same class. We will learn to import these packages and use them in our code in the next slide. So a very important thing we have to remember is packages have to be made in their own separate directory, which we can refer to in our code. We will also go over this in the next slide. So, how to import and use packages. To import and use user-defined packages and built-in packages, we need to first define the directory that the package is in. For example, if our package that we made is in the directory my package, then in order to use it in our code, we need to import my package dot package name in order to use it in our code. So my package is the name of our directory and package name is the name of our package. If we wanted our package to repeat what we give it, then we can use the package this way. Package name example is equal to new package name. So package name is the, is the name of our package. An example is our variable. Example.repeat input quote string. So repeat input is a class inside of our package and the class repeats this input that we give it. So if you run this program, the output will be string. Repeat input is a class in package name and we use it to repeat the string that we give it. So going to the before example, package name is the name of our package and class one is the name of our class. So if you run this, it will output hello there is class one. So to use built-in packages, we do not need to create a new directory or make new classes and packages because all of that is already done for us. Built-in packages contain a large number of classes that are part of Java API. We can also import built-in packages the same way we import user-generated packages. For example, a package which you have seen before is java.lang. This package contains language support classes and are automatically generated. java.io is an input slash output package. To import it, we use import java.io.asterisk. The asterisk symbol means we want to import all of the classes in the package. However, if we want to only import one class of the package, we can simply replace the asterisk with the class name. 
So, for example, in the previous example, we used the class repeat input. So, instead of doing java.io.asterisk, if java.io had class repeat input, it would replace the asterisk with repeat input to say import java.io.repeat input to only import the class and so the whole package. So next we'll be talking about access modifiers. What are access modifiers? Methods and data members can be contained by private and default modifiers. Private modifiers are accessible within the class where defined, and default modifiers are when no access modifier is specified. The private access modifier is used simply by using the word private before it, and default modifiers are used when no access modifier is specified. Defining and accessing modifiers. Defining and accessing modifiers are really easy in Java and build on the lessons that we did before. Just knowing what default and private modifiers are is more than enough to define them. We first choose a name for a modifier. And for the sake of example, let us call it example. We then need to decide if we want the modifier to be private or default. In this example, we're going to use private. If you want the modifier to be private, then we put the word private before it when we define it. If you want the modifier to be default, we don't use any word. Default modifiers cannot be accessed out of its own package, while private can only be used within its own class. So in the example below, we have a modifier private void example, and if we run this, it will print example test. If you want this modifier to be default, we just delete the word private, so it can be accessed out of its own package. So in this video, we covered what packages are, how to define and import packages, what user-generated and built-in packages are, what modifiers are, and how to define them and use them in our code, and finally, difference between public and default modifiers. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you have any questions or are confused about a topic, you can always go back in the video and review. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. See ya.